Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Super Soldier Talk. I'm James Rink. It is Monday, October 15th, 2012, and I have Krista with me. And Krista is going to share some of her, I guess you could say, new memories. Are you there, Krista? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, why don't you tell the audience what it is that you started to recall recently and what triggered this whole conversation? Well, I just have had, in the past few months, I've had flashes of you and Max being tied up in some sort of base. Um, I think it was offload originally, but now um, something's happened where you're here now and I feel like he's in danger, Max is in danger, and just talking to a few other people who are having the same feelings. So there's there's some sort of event that's being planned for the West Coast um, soon, and that's why a bunch of us are being activated on the West Coast and why I've been doing missions for, like... Okay. Well, before we go into that, let's just do a little bit of background information here. Um, this show, for those people who have never seen any one of these shows, basically what we talk about uh, has to do with my labs. Al- not, and it's, it's more than just alien abduction. It's more like in the lines of taking um, uh, an, uh, an embryo of um, uh, and making hybrid, human-alien hybrids. And we, they insert us into the general public to see how we react. They we're highly programmed, but it's not just the aliens. It's actually more in line with the Draconian Empire, who has um, made treaties with the, uh, I hate to use the word government, it's more like the Nazi faction that's uh, t- slowly taken over this planet um, through underground bases and facilities. And they are secretly experimenting on individuals such as ourselves, and they are seeking to create the ultimate, you could say, Superman. Uh, superhuman, super psychic, super strong, super uh, in every way possible. Zarathustra, right? The uh, Frederick Nietzsche, Nietzsche's uh, Zarathustra. So the whole idea about this is that um, not only through Chris does has some and unique experiences of basically in some. If you go back into some of the regressions that I've done with her, hypnotic regressions. Um, she said uh, that she, she recalled being in, in a facility where there was Dracos, and I rescued her in a super soldier, I guess it was an altar or maybe some kind of clone body. Yeah, like a synthetic version of you. Okay, and that's, a, that's another point to mention is that um, the, way they actually, they, the way they're actually doing this now is they have the ability to switch our consciousness out of our bodies, and they put them into clone avatars, like in the movie Avatar. But um, they, the reason why they do this is so that if if they were to put a superhuman um, in the, in the public sector, say say if I was to take over my my synthetic body and come back uh, and just I don't know get rid of rid of the body that that's here and, and take over the <laughs> synthetic. Um, I would be uh, totally off the reservation, and uh, not only that, it would be um, I would have superhuman abilities, and it would be it would cause a lot of problems with the disclosure because uh, well, they're trying to hide all this stuff. So they they they, they do that to control us, and I know with um, and it's not just um, males; they can also do this with with females. But as far as fem- females are concerned, because uh, I. I Krista, um, do they actually use you as a super soldier? I have a lot of reason to believe, yes. Okay. Well, is that kind of like uh, an Angela Jolie uh, kind of thing where you're super, you're super human uh, or do, a fighter? Or uh, do they use you for like psychic warfare or maybe a little bit of everything or what? Do you recall? Yeah, I think I'm programmed on most levels. Okay, when you say, okay, and that's a good point that we should talk about programming. What do you mean by being programmed? Programmed for what? Well, I think that it depends a lot on the types of, you know, DNA and stuff that you have. But I think that I'm programmed on all the different levels of consciousness, like theta, beta, delta. Okay. Ver- so versatility as far as um, maybe you have a program that can go in and be a spy, or maybe, oh, yeah. 
okay, and maybe you have a program that can be, say, um, one of these sexual sex kitten monarchs. Or oh, yeah, I totally have sex kitten programming, but that's not the main thing that I think they use me for. Uh, what What do you think it is, then? Um, remote viewing, and I think they, I can manifest things into reality really well in, in trip chairs. Okay, and that's a good point, too. Why don't you tell the audience a little bit about what you remember about the trip chair? And what what is a trip chair? A trip chair is something that can basically, I think it's like puts you into kind of like a virtual reality thing, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's kind of like a helmet, from what I can remember. But they always start out with some sort of like, you know, hyp- hypnosis. It'll be, you know, the doctor that's working on you and then usually, like, one or two other people. They see you in a chair. It's kind of like it starts out kind of like a dentist chair. But then they literally put the the light. They'll shine in your eyes really fast. And then there's like some sort of helmet. I think the technology has changed over the years. Um, but basically they just flash things in front of you, fast pictures of things over and over and over again using lights and different shapes and objects and it just depends on what they want you to do if they want you to time travel or if they want you to go blow something up or anything it's like so it's a brainwashing chair yeah well it's how they it's how they i think it plays a lot of how they fractured the mind too okay in the early years well, as far as brainwashing is concerned, it, it, one of the uses, they can, they can insert memories and um, take memories away, I, I'm assuming. It, oh, yeah. But, but then again, how will we know if we don't remember? <laughs> At least I um, don't. I have a few memories of being on the trip chair. It's one of the only things that, memories that's been with me since uh, I was like five or six. I've always kind of had that memory. I've been like, what am I... What are, where am I getting this from? But now that I'm starting to find out all about all this stuff, now I'm like, oh, that's what that was. Okay. But, yeah. Well, um, c- can you just make it clear to the audience? If you, if you know or if you don't know, that's fine. Either way. Um, do you know what they actually call this, this chair? Do you remember what they called it in the facility? Do they have a specific name? If no, not, I can't. I'm, I'm okay. not picking up on anything. Okay, because I know, um, I believe it was Barry King. He he actually called it the trip seat, and he sort of, um, sort of had a little try try aid about <laughs> me calling it trip chair. So whatever it is called, it, it it, um, I've also heard it's called the total recall chair. But then again, you know, total recall has been <laughs> put through Hollywood. So who knows what what it is, but. But well, no, they put them in the total recall chair if, like, you know, you're you're in trouble and you're trying to break your programming. They'll put you in there. And just make okay, them. and that's one of the things that you actually, well, I'm assuming that's what you said. You, you said you started having memories of me being tied up. Was that, yeah. the, was that the total recall chair that I was tied up in? Yeah, I think that you are in trouble, so they're using that on you as, like, a way to get you to talk. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> the whole the whole thrust of this show is to talk, but um, as far as why, I mean, first of all, I, I don't have any memories of being in this chair. Any ideas when this might have happened? Like it happened a couple months ago. I have all, I just think that you've been off planet for a while. Okay. So while I was off planet, what was here? Your clone. Okay, um, is it possible that might maybe like a, fra- a fragment of my soul might have been in this clone? Or do you think it was totally soulless? Like a robot, um, artificial life form, AI? Yeah, I totally think that was it. I mean, from what I could gather, I just, you know, I don't like, I don't gossip too much within this like, community. <laughs> but, you know, when some people have concern, they, they mention something type thing. Okay. So a lot of people were kind of mentioning concern about this kind of jerk that's been in in your place type of thing. And I kind of just, yeah, I don't know. There was some sort of 
we have a lot of memories together, so I feel like a... Okay, okay. Like, we can connect with each other, like, each of the, sol- the super soldiers, since we're all connected and we've been traumatized so much, some of us together, we have feelings and when we know, like, instincts with something's wrong or someone's in danger. Okay, so um, you sensed there was something wrong, but so you decided just to back off until things you felt was okay. Um, just trying to, like, sync up with you and just... Well, I'm not trying to talk about it too much because, um, you know, you don't want right, to... Well, well, you don't want to bring too much attention to a situation. Right, and, and if, my clone, if my clone knew he was a clone, he, he'd probably try to hurt himself. Because usually that's when their programming, this, this self-destruct programming kicks in, I'm assuming. I don't know. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I actually did not speak to you for that entire time, so I don't know. Okay, well, as far as you said you you saw me being kidnapped and I was being tied up in this trip chair, um, do you remember, do you have any, well, first of all, were you there too? Um, you know, I didn't think that until you left a voicemail, um, because I've been on, I've been heavily drugged for the past 10, 10, 11 days, you know, um. You're get are you getting active- needled? Oh, Yeah. All right, and that, that's something I would like um, you sh- you should uh, make the audience aware that um, part of being part of these projects basically <laughs> um, is being you get needle marks on it. I, well, for me, I get it on at least a daily basis, usually on my lips. Uh, what what about you? Wh- where where do you normally get them, and how often? Well, there's different types. Um, this is the first time this past few 10 to 11 days I've been getting them daily like a couple a day um but prior to that it was only usually when I spoke with you that I would get them oh geez (laughs) okay but these are different the ones that I've been the past week or so since I've been activated um have been like IV type situations like deep needles Okay, and, and the way you know that, I mean, do you actually have memories of that, or is that this kind of like remote viewing kind of capability? Is that how you were able to sense this? Well, I can see the needle marks in my arms really sore, and okay. I know my body, and the only place that I actually can donate blood or give blood is in this one particular spot on my left hand, oh. on my left arm. So okay. there's only, I don't perceive well to needles, so okay. they well, know that's where they can go. There's a series of three that they give us, I think. Are, do you have um, a low pain tolerance and find have like a severe phobia to needles? I definitely don't have a low pain tolerance, but I do have a phobia to needles. Okay, so but but if you were to get if you were to get an injection, say like to go to a dentist's office, you you could tolerate it, the pain. I used to be I used to be able to do that, but since my memories are returning, I will pass out or. Okay. Or yeah, I, I, I. So that's one of my traumas that's returning the needle thing. Yeah. Who knows how how bad? We, I mean, I've had needle marks appear underneath my fingernails. Have you had? Have it? Have yeah. Had, you, you've had. You've you've had. No, no. Oh, okay. But that's that's what they do to us. Like. Why? Why? Um. Why would they put it underneath my fingernail? I don't know. It's just part of the programming. It's just like. It's just to torture you. Okay. Well, um, now you said that. You, so we were tied up, and I say we, Max and I, and that we're. I'm. I'm assuming you're referring to Max Spears. Yes. Okay, and Max Spears was at the Super Soldier Summit. You can go back and listen to some of his stuff. Um, any idea why we were there? I mean, okay, you said we were being reprogrammed, I, mean, I guess reprogrammed, but uh, were they, was it because of something we said or something that we're doing or about to do, or do you have any idea? Um, well, I think you knew that this, you were going to be taken off planet, because um, you kind of were talking about that before it happened. Or you okay, so it was that reason they want to reprogram um, us, I guess because they think we're going off the reservation. Yeah, and that's so funny because you're. Do you remember talking to me about that? No. You randomly messaged me on Facebook after we had not talked for two months now, 
you randomly messaged me that, just that one line. I'm off the reservation. Oh, I, I don't remember sending you that, but okay. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting off topic. But um, <laughs> Max, no, 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 Max and you were there, mainly because you are off that. And because of that, you're malfunctioning. Your original self is malfunctioning for the purpose, not like you are malfunctioning, but for the purposes of their agenda, you guys are off course, and they need you to do missions, so they need your cone here to do the missions. In my case, I haven't been swapped out because I'm still, I'm a little bit off course, but I'm still doing what I need to do without being a complete pain in the ass. Hmm. Okay. Well, why don't you talk a little bit about what kind of missions they, they're sending us on or want That's to send us on? That's what I'm trying on. to figure out. Okay. Well, we're, I, and we're going to do a regression in a little bit, but let's go on here. Um... You also said that they used some of these drugs that they're giving you are um, is used to keep your front altars in place. No, to keep my front altar in still in my brain, still kind of. I mean, I'm barely been functioning, but to just keep me barely functioning, but to bring my other altars that they need to use to the front. Okay, so so um, I'm assuming is that the same thing probably going on with me? these drugs yes but I think they're doing it to you yes I think yeah so as far okay so they give me the injections and the injections make my other altar come out yeah because you're you know that's what they have to do now they have to drug you in order to make it come out oh okay I was just going to ask you that question all right well why, why but is that some of it's for you is because of the like me as well we have a there's a genetic there's something about our DNA that they really, really enjoy. And, um, what is it? A lot of it's out of curiosity, too. I mean, just the, you know, curiosity, you know, we're like hybrid, so it's like... To see what we're capable of. Yeah, they're really curious. They want to know, you know, if we mix this with that and this with that, you know, what is, you know, the possibilities are endless, so it's just kind of like... So they're they obsessed. Want... They're like mad scientists that are, oh, yeah. in a way, have gone mad. And um, I guess we're the lab rat, <laughs> the guinea pig. Yeah, you know, and it's, in well, my case, it's a lot of my own family members. So, yeah, well, that's, that's what happened. Well, that's just certainly the way of me, and I know a lot of other my labs or mill labs have got the same problem where a close family member is can, keeping them in some kind of traumatic relationship and they just can't seem to escape because they feel guilty if they leave. Um, and then they, they feel, they just feel like they have to stay. Um, I guess that, that, that that's one of the ways they control us is through. Well, you know, if we try to leave then it's like, they'll just sabotage us so that we don't have money or anything. Yeah. Well, you also said you had some memories of being in rituals with like sexual rituals. Is that something you feel comfortable talking about? Um, no, I don't really want to talk about that, but I will, <laughs> okay. say, I will say that, you know, there, it's a, it plays a big part in it. Like, I don't really have many memories of the sexual rituals themselves. I just know in my gut that they're happening and that, okay. um, and that some sort of ritual happened that, kind of happened with all of us recently well, and that was like a few weeks ago okay and i know um william ross the guy from new zealand um go back and listen to some of his stuff he says one of the things they do of course they put us in clone avatars but they actually have avatars of us at of different age um periods of our life so they put us so one of the things they can do is they can put us into an avatar of us when we were children and then the people in the, these facilities would rape us uh, you know, pedophilia kind of stuff going on, and they do that to continuous, to continually to keep us traumatized. Do you have anything, memories of like that? You, or uh, no, I mean, I have memories of, of, you know, jackals and all sorts of things having sex with me. Okay. There's a lot of girl on girl action going on, and like, they kind of think it's funny to like, to mess with us in that way. 
All right, and, and that, you know that's something you also mentioned. You when you say they, who are the these they? I mean, I, I, of course, the word draconian comes up, but do well, you they're working. You know, they work together. The draconians. You know, well, the, the greys. Okay, so you know, you, the rep, you, they all work with the mad scientists. I'll call them. You know, okay. the Nazi scientists and, and the target okay. agencies. So, so they look like white white men, with white lab coats, maybe. I'm assuming white lab coats. Yeah, there's white lab coats. There's, but then there's also you know, the reptilians too, and the dracos that do it. Okay, so so they're humans, and there's reptilians all working together in greys. I don't know if the. I think that like with the greys, like you know, some of them are working with them. Most of them are just curious about the. The genetic aspect, and they and a lot of them want to help. So you mean help us escape? Yeah, a lot of a lot of them want to help. Yeah. Okay. One of the things though about these grays is uh, just like I mentioned earlier about the synthetic body. A lot. Um. Some of the, one of the purposes. Some of them anyway are actually uh, have are, are they are synthetic bodies, and the other ETs can take them over and use them like robots. But um, I just wanted to mention, but I guess maybe there are some greys out there that have souls. Maybe some of them manage to have their own artificial AI and some kind of consciousness or, or autonomy. Um, and th that's the other thing I wanted to mention is that just like uh, those greys are synthetic robots, that's exactly what they're trying to do to us. Uh, and really, I, I guess that's the gear they have for all of humanity is to turn us into synthetic androids. Where they can just totally be mind controlled on a switch and don't even remember. But um, anyhow, yeah, I mean, they do a pretty good job at that. Okay. Well, is there any other memories you felt like? Um, oh, you said uh, Max was in is in trouble. Is Max still in this facility? Well, I don't really want to like. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I think he's in trouble, but I think he's in the U.S. now. Like something happened. Like you guys came back somehow. You're here now. We're talking, and he's still in trouble. And someone earlier was doing some remote viewing, and, and saw maybe like Luke Air Force Base. I'm kind of being drawn somewhere to the Arizona, New Mexico. I, when I thought about it, and when I tried to do it, I heard McDonald's, and then I looked it up, and there's like a McDonald's Peterson base. There's something there, but he messaged um, this person a few hours ago and said, "Help me, help me, help me! I'm in LA. They're getting used me." You know, basically, that's what he said. Okay. You can use your judgment of whether or not you want to edit that out or not, because he did not, me and him do not specifically talk. I just know that... Have you ever talked to, to Max before? No, I've never talked to him. Um, I kind of get the same okay. feeling that... I kind of did not talk to him well, for the same reasons. Well, yeah. um, while we were out in um, San Francisco... Um, one of the things that Max actually started remembering was um, he says that we were that we were brothers, um, but he was a doctor in uh, I guess it was Space Command, but I don't know if this is in the future or if it's my labs or what. And that we're that actually the real the real version of us is in that timeline, but this version here is actually a synthetic body. So it makes you, it all puts another dynamic of who is the real you. Yeah, that's, that's okay. A hard Try not to wrap your mind around that one too much. But let's. Um, I guess we we can do the the regression. Is there anything else you feel like we need to cover? No, I just I'm really you know I I'm kind of ready to just try to figure out what's been going on the past couple months. All right. So uh, go ahead and lay down and, and get comfortable. Yeah, I'm pretty much already, I mean, I'm not there, but I'm in an altar. Okay. All right. So go ahead and allow your forehead to relax. And with that said, um, I want you to just go ahead and find um, a hyperspace tunnel. You feel that you need to go down. And let me know when you've come through the other side. The portal should open up into a hallway. And there's going to be all sorts of doors, and these doors represent different memories or different time periods of your life. But let's let's go uh, explore the first door. This first door is going to go back um, in time to the point of where myself and Max was taken. So you're going to go 
maybe different teleport into a different place so we can see what happened. So um, just go ahead and open up the door. What's the first thing you see? I see men, tall men in white coats with the red eyes and the and Max is he's got like a he's just in handcuffs and he's got like a bandana, blue bandana or something around his mouth. Around his mouth? They're taking him somewhere. They're, they have a bandana in his mouth, like just taking mm. him somewhere. They kidnapped him. Okay, and when you say kidnapped, can, can you get an impression on how he was kidnapped? Was it maybe like, did they just teleport him out of his room? Or did somebody knock on his door and say a special code word and he just followed no, the van? No, someone set him up like a, like a friend. Like someone that he was in his life. Was it um, a male or a female? It was a male. Okay. And um, can you get an idea what where he was when this happened? I think you. This is when, like, I think this is when you guys were at the Super Soldier Summit. The... Okay. All right. So, um, so he he follows this man, and what 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 happens next? Is he taken into a van, or is he teleported, or what? How does he get to this other location? A van. Okay. And so, um, why a they white van? Why they take him away? Um, what what hap Um, what, what do they put another version of him in his place? Um. Is he changed out with a clone? Oh yeah, but okay. They're t Yeah, they're telling him like they need to get information from the summit, and that basically he's going to be used to get it. His clone. Okay. Does he try to put up a fight or a struggle? Yeah, but he's really, really messed up, so... Okay, so, what happens next? They take, uh, so, uh, um... Yeah, they're about, taking what, him up in the, in the spaceship. Or not the spaceship, the, yeah, I mean, the spaceship. So, so he's in a van, the next thing you know, he's in a spaceship? Do you know how... Yeah, there was, there was a lot of, you know, stuff in between, but that's... Okay. Okay. So, um, so the spaceship. Where does the spaceship go? Where do they take them? Is it off another? World. Is it another? Okay. Off world. Is it in the solar system? I just, you know, I just keep hearing Pluto or Saturn. I don't. Okay. Well, I can't like figure out which one it is. Is this connected with my labs, or is this a different group? A different organization, perhaps? If you don't know, that's fine. No, I think it has to do with the faction, like a some faction that wants to take out a lot of the super soldiers, like you and. Okay, and him. so so this is the negative faction that that, that doesn't like the work that we're doing. I'm yeah, you were he was, he's just the pawn that that started this whole series of events since the super soldier summit. Uh, what what Max is? Yeah, he was the first pawn. He was easy because he likes, he gets messed up a lot. So he's easy. Okay. Um, so they take him to this facility, and as far as d why he's being taken here, do you have, it, do, are you able to get an impression? Well, what, it, what is it they plan to do to him, or what do you see being done to him? Well, Max needs, well, his clone needs to go, you know, kind of rally up the rest of us um, working that but he personally is just being tortured and just for information that he knows of himself type thing. Okay, so while um, here on planet Earth, they put a clone of Max in his place and the clone is going around trying uh, destroying friendships and uh, um, trust between us. Um, but the real version is uh, off on world and he's being tortured. To extract information is what you see. I don't know what I don't. I don't know. I mean, I just you know well, why now they you, have him. Okay. They have to keep the original body alive in order to use the clone. I think or okay, that's what that's what's easiest. But all right, I think it's just a lot of rituals. It's a lot of like sick stuff that you know. And are these um, red-eyed 
individuals, are they reptilians or humans or? I don't know if that's who's, no, it's like, it's not just them, it's everyone, you know, it's just, I see like Miranda and I see, it's just like kind of Illuminati, like, I don't know, it's like, there's a mixture of people there. It's my lab, I mean, I guess by definition, I'm not like too sure by the terminology, but there's. I'm just seeing a lot of, like, it's, I think they're, like, humans, quote-unquote, you know? Okay, well, who knows? Maybe they're clones of themselves. They may not even be the real thing. Or... I have no idea what is going on with that. Okay. Just, yeah. Well, um, as far as... I'm sure it's a lot of cover memories for me, you know, they want me to... It's okay. The other okay. Well, let's, let's just focus on this one memory here. Do you see any other individuals around Max this time? Not and... at this time. Okay. So, um, what happens next? How how do they torture him? Or, assuming that's what they do. Yeah, the trip chair. Okay. Um, describe a little bit what the trip chair looks like. This one's more like new age from what I remember when I was younger. This is like, um, kind of like you use just like, the guy from Star Trek that has that visor over his, his eyes. I don't know his name, but. Okay. It's like it's like that, but it's black, and there's kind of like, you know, they hook you up to a lot of like, elect, you know, electrical wires. Okay, kind of something like, like that. Looks, looks like a dentist chair, but mm -hmm. it's black and it has like a. I mean, it can be used for different things. Um, you know, sometimes there's a screen. Sometimes it's like the visor, or um, sometimes it leans up, sometimes it'll hang you up, it can do different things, like hang you in horrible places, like different upside down, all of, you know. Okay. But for him, I think it's like they are making him kind of like a total recall thing. Well, what what is it, as far as total recall, I mean, that's a totally, they're inserting like a, a whole new personality memory, or is it they're trying to know. take his memories? Well, why don't you step, in, step inside his body and... Uh, okay. And just tell me, um, what, what kind of images do you see in the visor? They're putting. They're just in trying to. They're trying to make him go and saying, basically, make his clone go berserk. Oh, so they're so they um so this version of Max is remotely controlling his clone to go berserk. Is what you're saying. Something has to do with the fact that they want Max, the original, to go insane. Oh, and and um. Can you get an uh, an idea on, on how he, on uh, how they plan on him going insane? Is it? I'm seeing clowns right now, like serial killer clowns. So you think he, he, they're going to try to like um, give him a criminal record, violent, make him violent? Yeah, I think that he's going to be used within the next couple days on something crazy. Okay. Um, Joker, you know, they do the Joker program. Right, um, with like that guy, what, what was his name, Holmes? The guy out in Colorado? James Holmes, the one in James Colorado. Holmes. Yeah, and his father was uh, the, the like the director of FICO, the, the ratings agency for mortgages and credits. He was going to testify in Congress about all that. But anyway, that's a whole different thing. Uh, so, and he has an intelligence agency background. Basically, mm -hmm. he was just like a passy. Okay. Are you able to communicate with this version of Max? No, I'm just the, saying I need help, I need help, I need help, I need help, okay. I need help. Ask, can you ask him if, if you give him permission to do some psychic work on him, healing? He said yes, please, thank you, Krista. Okay. Well, what I'd like you to do is I want you to, to take your, your palms and I want you to see a beautiful green orb in your palms and kind of uh, see like an... Um, in, once you make, maybe the size of a basketball, and then I want you to compress the chi energy again and make it into the size of a marble. Then uh, imagine more green energy, another orb, and then compress that. Do that one more time. And we're going to compress that into a marble. Then what I want you to do is I want you to put that into his crown chakra. And I want you to... Um, program the intent into this green energy to heal his body and to bring peace over him and to allow and to break off any kind of psychic links from the clone 
and to um, reduce any kind of violent tendency. So see the see the word peace. Imagine the word peace inside the orb, and in, inside of all of his chakras. So we visualize peace and beautiful green color coming over him. Is is this? Do you, do you uh, can you ask him? Is, is this was is this a sufficient to change the timeline, or do we need to do more work here? No, he says it's not sufficient, but he's he's just sweating a ton now. Sweating? Yeah, probably because I'm healing him a little bit. He's sweating, you know. Okay, we'll just take a, a few moments there and um, go ahead and try to bring his chakras back into balance until you feel that he's pushed out the trauma and the programming. And we can um, we we can um, ask, said, huh? He said Casbold's here. Who? Casbold. Oh, oh, all right. Um, well, well, who who's living out um, his life out, out in Texas? I don't know something. I just heard something. It's a Cremini or something like that. I don't know. Well, Remini, can you please Cremini. repeat that? What? Something like Cremini, Remini. I don't know. Cremini. I don't. I don't know. That might just hmm. be something in my head. But anyways, I so, saw something kind of like all this dark. Dark wall, just leave, um, Max. Okay, so this is pro this is probably the facility that Casbolt is being taken to, being programmed. Is what you? Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Does uh the does the original he, is that the original? He just kept on saying Luke Air Force Base, Luke Air Force Base. Luke. Yeah. Luke Air Force Base. Yeah. What What about it? That's all I keep saying. That's all I keep hearing. Okay. Um, from who? Casbold or Max? Oh, I'm not talking to Casbold. I'm talking to Max. Okay. Um, so what what does Max want us to do or, 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 or if he has a message? I think he wants to get taken out of the trip chair. Okay. Uh, does he have any ideas or solutions on how we could do that? Well, he says he just keeps on trying to, like, Okay. Use his clone to to warn us, but no one's listening. Okay. Well, I got an idea what we could do. Um. Why don't you? Let's see. What I'd like you to do is open up a portal, and I want you to open up the portal to say the year twenty twenty two hundred, about two hundred years into the future. Um, and uh, I want you to pick up Max out of the trip chair. If he's drugged or sedated, that's okay. Just just pull him out. And even if it's not the physical realm, we're still kind. Of, we're still in astral, so we're going to work on his astral body. So physical or not, we're going to pick him up, his consciousness. And let's go into the future, two hundred years. Okay. So go down that tunnel and let me know. And, and the other side is going to end. Um, we could try the Ju let's try the Jupiter station. Two hundred years in the future. I see just a lot of just nothing. We're in a we're in a facility. There's just a lot of like different. They're not humans, but they're like. I don't know. It's good. They're not like mean. Well, do you feel that these beams can help us? Yeah, I see this, like, big, she's a woman, she's wearing, like, a coat. <laughs> okay. She says that she can she can help Max. All right. Well, uh, go ahead and... Just, that's what weird. I, I think it's... That's weird. What? It looks like... It looks like me, like, like in this, like, massive body. Okay. Well, um, is that is that your future self, or is that a, an av an avatar, or? Yeah, I have reason to know that. Like, I'm being used off world for like science and stuff. Okay. Well, um, I don't know who it is. I don't know who this is. Can you ask her what what they were trying to do to Max? Erase his memory. Okay. R erase his memory of what in particular? Something that something that he did as a kid, like. There's some correlation with with him and me. There's something in us, buried in us, that needs to come out. 
before we can be okay. like killed. Before you can be what? Healed? Killed. Oh. oh, so before your mission is over here on planet Earth. Yeah, before they can just kill us off. This information needs to come out. I'm okay. hearing, well, well, I'm hearing just like that. Me and him, like, yeah, there's like some correlation there. Like, well, can you ask this woman um, what it is, or is it something that is kind of? I mean, we hit on the moon. Okay, what? Uh, what can you? Uh, we'll ask her what what is on the moon. A time portal or something that was like. I mean, just like the trip chair, like some chair, maybe the Montauk chair. There's a Montauk something. chair on the moon? No, 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 no. They weren't able to reverse it. They weren't able to reverse it, the invention. Okay, so there's some kind of device on the moon that's causing fractures in the timeline, is what you're... It's how they control the timeline here. Oh, well, um... Does this this does this woman want us to go back and uh, try to w work on that? Yeah, but I think this might. I don't know. If, okay, yeah, she says Max is there too. What this Max is my memory. On the moon? No, 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 no. Me and Max went to the moon together. Okay. Not in the same group when we went to the moon in like the eighties. Okay. What well, was I? They want to kill him off. He's not. He's not functioning. He's not. He's not functioning. He's not. They don't. They don't feel an, a worth for him at this point. So, they want him to go berserk, do something crazy, but they need this information out of him first. Okay. So they're. So they're. They got him in this trip chair. They're extracting all the information, and then when they finally done with it, they'll they'll let him go berserk. And that'll be the last of Max we'll hear, unless he ends up in jail or worse. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, can you ask this woman um, what what she can do to help? She well, just said the answer is in you, meeting me. Oh. What? Um. <laughs> we brought her, we brought him here for her to help. <laughs> okay, but if it's in us, um, well, well, Krista, what do you think it is? What is it that we need to do? To help Max. Oh, I don't know. I mean, you're the one that knows how to break into bases. <laughs> I don't know how to well, break maybe, into bases. Maybe, maybe just Max hearing this will is probably enough to help maybe trigger his memories. I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll um, find out. He he's trying to protect you too. You okay. get tied into this. You get brought into this. Well, and now, as in two months ago, you get brought into this because you're trying to help Max, and then you and Max are trying to protect. A lot of us, and mainly most of the girls in this situation, you guys are always like, you guys are always making sure that we're not the ones that get it the worst. So we always step in and allow allow them to torture it when we can? Yeah, you guys are allowing them to torture you because, you know, if you guys don't get tortured, then, you know, we're going to get it, and you don't want that because we're like... Okay, well, all right. Well, um... Let's he go back, to, huh? To protect Nina. There's a tie between him and Nina. Okay. And, and, and yeah. that's how that all ties together. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to save this, the Nina for another time. Uh, for, yeah, I don't want to talk about her. Uh, okay, well, go ahead. And, uh, th th okay, then, let, then let's talk about Nina then. Um, no, sir, I don't want to talk about her. Oh, 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 okay. Well, There's um, a tie between us. He's, he's trying to protect her is what he keeps telling me. All right. Um, well, so is there anything that this lady can do to help heal him, or do we need to just bring him back? <laughs> I don't think she. It looks like me. It looks like me as a scientist. Okay. Well, she's, just look, she's just looking at me, saying, "You." I think. I mean, I. Well, I just don't know. Okay. Well, let's do. Let's try something else. I'll open up another t another time tunnel portal, and let's go back to the present day to wherever Max is currently located. Um, I don't know where where he where he is now. Let me know where, wherever you see him here on planet Earth, whether that's a clone of him or not. The original. Yeah, you guys have you guys have been through all sorts of stuff as well. Um, yeah, no, he's not. It's his original. Okay. He's in he's in the southwest. He's by LA. He's somewhere down there. Okay, so he's in LA. 
All right, well, bring the, the, this version of him that was in the trip chair, his consciousness, and bring him back to his body. All right. And yeah. just go ahead and uh, toss the, his consciousness back in the, in, into the body, the memories and the aura and all that. Yeah. All right. So go ahead and allow maybe maybe use your 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 psychic energy to allow that energy to kind of anchor itself and back into the body. So if you see like if his aura looks really cloudy and and his chakras kind of look mud muddy, kind of trying yeah. to kind of clear them up a bit, spin his chakras clearer, faster. And try to visualize uh, green energy around his aura. Yeah. He's, like, saying he doesn't have much time left. Uh, time for what? He doesn't know how much longer he can be in this chair. He told me that it's already too late. What? Uh, the self-destruction's already going to happen? Yeah. Uh, can you ask him how how they they plan to have it all come to an end? Yeah, he's just gonna like go crazy on the on the streets of. Okay. I don't know. There's like this. I'm just like really sad now, but there's this like voice also in my head that's saying that's just your programming, Krista. So. Okay. Well. This is all we can do. I mean, it's it's ultimately up to his guardian angels and guides, and up to him to to step out of it. I mean, this is. You've been trying to help him, though. You were trying to help him. That's why you've been trying to help him. And that's a good point. He says thank you. He says thank you for that. Okay, and would the... I'm just seeing you in that trip chair now. Well, <sighs> tell, tell me, well, why am I in the trip chair now? I think it was because you were trying to help him. Okay. Uh, and, and so what are they trying to do to me? They were just, you know, they need you to do, they need your clone to do missions. So. so I'm in the trip chair and my consciousness, I'm assuming that's what's happening. My consciousness is in another avatar body on missions. Mm-hmm. Okay. And... Uh, uh, why don't you get an impression? Just go ahead and follow the psychic cord back to the avatar body. Where is where where am I being sent on a mission? Afghanistan. Okay, and what am I doing in Afghanistan? Um. Well, no. See. Huh. Um. Like just like sniping and shit. Okay. Well, is this standard military? Are we talking like? black ops kind of stuff or is it some kind of super elite force or what special op special operations okay um well am it's, i huh it's just like you're original you know you're not doing what you need to do you know so to get you to do what you need to do they need to put you in the trip chair okay so why I'm uh, why I'm in Afghanistan, this uh, synthetic body, did, uh, do do they allow us to mingle with? That's why I'm right there. You're there too. Yeah. Are you in a female avatar clone? Mm-hmm. Okay, and they have you sniping. Yeah, I do some sniping, or I yeah. like, I do like just basic, you know, remote viewing type keep people safe type thing. Well, do they allow us to mingle with the standard, you know, soldiers? Or is it, do they keep us yeah. separate? Mainly just the ones that are like, you know, program themselves, you know. Okay. Uh, but if, if we were to go, let's say you and I were to go over to Afghanistan right now, would we be able to, to to recognize our avatars? Um, yeah, I think you would. <laughs> would they recognize us? I mean, would, would we look the same? I don't look the same. You you don't look the same. I don't. It's hard to say because it's like. Well, what about me? Do I look the same? Yeah, I mean, just like. Huh. 
you know, you're like, I don't know. It's like, I don't, I can't like, okay. there's a lot of like, there's a lot of things going on. Like now we're jumping down waterfalls, like big waterfalls. Okay. Um, they know about us. Who, what do you, who's they? Like the groups we work with in the military. Okay, so are we talking like high-level generals in, in the Pentagon? Well, yeah, they're the ones that set it all up. But our, the, as far as like the units we work with when we go over on these missions, okay, um, they are aware, you know, kind of like, of, they're not fully aware because they're mind-controlled themselves, but they are trained to work with us. Okay, so so they're aware that we we've been programmed, but they they have no clue on how advanced it is. I think maybe we jump into one of their bodies, like our soul, our consciousness. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. Well, um. No, the girls. I don't know about the guys. Okay. Because like when I'm re- remote viewing and stuff, I need to. Well, I need to like. I need to jump into a body. I need to jump into a soldier's body in order to remote okay. view. So, as far as these soldiers' bodies are concerned, I mean, do they have memories of, like, their childhood? Is it separate from our own? Um, see, the difference between me and you is that you're, you actually have, like, fully function. Huh. They're, they're not people. They're, what are they? They're kind of, we're just kept in, like, the military base, kind of just, like, locked up in the in a closet type thing, you know? Okay. So if if, if an, an average person was to meet one of these individuals, would they seem pretty dumb? They seem, like, unsocial or robotic or... Oh, yeah, no, totally. Like, just assholes. Okay. We don't... Yeah, I mean, we don't meet many average people. What, what do you think all this is going to lead to? Uh, l- let's let's step into the future, say, uh, 10 years. The Russians, something to do with the Russians. They want to stop. They, they've been successful in altering the time and stopping the time. Um, but we're reaching a certain point where, th- you know, they're not going to do that anymore. So they need... So they can't manipulate the timeline anymore. No, they can't. Okay. And the problem is, in in a lot of in a lot of ways, where people could kind of, on you know, get control back, it's buried in lots lots of this kids. It's buried in what? In us, like they bury a lot of like really really top secret information, and and people and us like you know thinking that we're going to blend in as normal people and. <laughs> so instead of keeping their top secret information in files and secret computers, they put it into civilians. Think we'll never yeah. figure it all out. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm related to the president in a way. Uh, I mean, which which president? Our president. Obama. Yeah. But okay, um, of course his his uh, his mother was white. So I'm assuming that side of the family. Let's talk about in there. But if you look at my bloodline, <laughs> okay. if you look at my bloodline, you can see that. Hello. That's how they. That's how they snuck it in. They snuck the bloodline through, through me. Is that you? Not Are you me. doing that? No. You're not type. You're not type dialing on your your phone. No. Okay. Um. It's all secret right. though, because the problem <laughs> is that I know. I know. I know. Like. I actually play a really big role in this time. Okay. Well, um, so so let's go into the future. Ten years. What, what happens? Uh, the, um, I'm, I'm assuming some of my labs are are not able to manipulate the timeline anymore. What happens then? Is that does that mean the game's over for them? Yeah, I mean, what's going to happen is that we're all going to turn against them. Okay. So all this top secret information that they thought could they hide is now going to become public sector knowledge. Yeah, and so rather than us helping with the New World Order plans, which is what the original plan was, to, we were going to be used to kind of 
bring in the new world order, you know, now it's going to be, we're going to be used as light, light people to help people when the truth is just, you know, well, what are they going to do? Mass awakenings, I mean, it's going to be chaos. Okay, well, will we get our abilities back? Some of us. Okay, so I, I guess... I will. Okay, I guess that all depends on how much work we're willing to put into it. It's all about the work that we're doing right now. Okay. Well, um, so what do you see happening to the people that, that did all these things to us? Do they have to um, pick up their stuff and get the hell off this planet? <laughs> or are they hunted down? Or do they... Hunted down. Okay. Well, who, who does the hunting? Is it the people in the military? I mean, I, I don't think it's going to be you or I. I mean, I'm, I don't know. Maybe our, maybe our avatars. <laughs> um, well, you know, at a certain point, you're, you know. I mean, I have a lot of reason to believe that I'm used as, in my physical body. Like, I think I go on missions and stuff because I wake up in the morning and it feels like I've been carrying, like, hundreds and hundreds of pounds on my back and I know what that feels like I know what it feels like to carry a heavy backpack and that's what I wake up feeling so okay and there's like well let, let's go explore that let, let's go back in the hallway and I want you to they're find gonna give us our powers back the benevolent ETs are gonna give us our powers back so we can use them on essentially the people that tormented us well what kind of powers or is that is that all top secret still I mean I know some of the powers that I have Okay, well, wh like, what will you be able to do um, when well, you become fully I can, conscious? I can, I can swim underwater. I can, I can, you know, telepathically communicate with a lot of animals. And okay. I can, I can blow things up with my hands, like my palms. Would you be able to heal my intestinal problems? You'll be able to heal your own, but yeah, I can heal him. Oh, well, what kind of abilities do you see me having? You're a healer. Okay. It's kind of funny. I'm a healer, but I'm having trouble to heal myself. But I guess that's all. Maybe there's a little, so much trauma I have to get work through all the layers. I guess. Well, the issue with you is that you don't have very much recall, so. Okay. All right. Well, um,. So, so we, we get all our memories back. Um, I guess in, at that point, there's no more my labs. Or they? No, they're just they're gonna all be shut down. Okay. Well, I I, I look forward I mean, to that. <laughs> yeah, but the issue is that they gotta. I think that certain things need to be found. You mean um, these secrets need to be come out before they start shutting it all down? Yeah, I mean we all need to work together to to figure out how we're going to find this this information that's been hid and how we're going to stop it. Okay. I well, mean, it really like, it comes down to just a small group of people that want to do good. Okay. Well. Well, can you go? Can you look in the future, ten years, and and see what 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 we do to get that information? Maybe get a hint. Is there a, an impression or an idea that we something that we should work towards? Yeah, we need to explore. It has all to do with like computers, and there's there's like USB things we need to find. There's, we all need to work on being able to go into our altered states, and we all need to work on being grounded. Okay. Um, do we, we need to all learn, we all, we all make friends with the wrong people, we need to not do that. I mean, there's just like, essentially, like the same mistakes that we're all making that is, is kind of holding things up. Okay. A lot of us don't trust each other, we have to learn to trust each other. That's a good thing. Max okay. would be sorry. Okay. I guess go back in the hallway. Is there any other doors that you feel that you need to explore? 
Yeah, I mean, I see, I see cat bolt now. Okay, let's let's explore that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on with Casbolt? Because, of course, you know he joined the military. Did you know that? He joined the military? He's, Why did he do that? Yeah, he uh, he's in the Army, and I think he's in some kind of nursing he, program. He said an, an M16, right? Or No. You see him with a he weapon? Was, no. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm getting confused. The special forces in England, whatever that is, and how they tie together with the army or the military. But he, he joined the military in the UK, right? Or in no, he's here uh, in the United in States. Yeah, he's. I, uh, <laughs> that it's it's. Oh my gosh! Complex. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that's confusing. So well, I mean, had, obviously, we got to him prior to now being in the chair. Do you think he would have ever joined the military if he wasn't? No way. Okay. Well, um, do you think the the version of him in Texas is the real one or a clone? The real one. Okay. But you said you you saw him in in the base. Was that maybe that was back in back a couple maybe a year ago? What, or what, in it back in time, some point? Yeah, maybe. I have no idea. Okay. Um, I just see him there, and he's, he's kind of like, he's not, he's not this, you know, when one of us gets put into the trip chair, he handles himself a lot differently. He reacts differently when he's put in the trip chair? Yeah, he's just like more, he's just gone through a lot of like more healing and reintegration, and he just, He's mentally stronger, you know, in that situation. Not that he's having a good time. Okay. Um, so he's able to tolerate the trauma a little bit better than we, we have been able to? Yeah, he knows how to, like, it's like a, an enlightened state he can reach to kind of just, like, okay. be. Well, what, what happened to cause him going to the military, though? His programming, I don't... Do you think he realizes? He, does he realize he's been programmed to do that? Well, now I think. I mean, I I just keep on hearing. I don't know why I did that, but well, can you telepathically ask him why did he do that? To keep his family safe. Okay. So was his family threatened? Yes. Okay. That's what I've also been hurt. That's also what I've been told too, and not by Casbolt. Um, so, no. I guess uh, well, he, there's not much we sorry. can do for him. We just have to let time run its course. Oh yeah, no, he he'll he'll get it. he'll get out. Yeah, I'm sure he he's a he's a survivor. <laughs> he'll be fine. Um, okay, well, uh, is there any other things that we need to explore? Maybe maybe with myself. Are um, do you see how how they they traumatize me? Yeah, you work. You like the you do the, the flashing screen thing more with Max. It kind of it's like different images flashing, 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 flashing. Okay. With Max, it's more of like a they put him in the movie type thing. Okay. Um, what kind of, what are the, how, what are the ways they torture me? It's triggers, just your triggers. White bunny. So they're, they're putting like key, keywords into me that kind of turn me on and off? Pictures of the white bunny and then you have like this red circle, green circle, just different things to keep your clone triggered. Oh, so these are images they're using to trigger me. There's images, there's some words, and some there's some sounds. Well, but is it okay? Well, you're, well, you're the most the easiest part of you to work with because a lot of parts of you are really stubborn. Um, the easiest one for you to work with is uh, your little kid alter. And your little kid alter, I don't know if you ever had a white bunny or anything like that. But you, a just bunny? bunny? Just keep saying bunny. A white, a white rabbit. Yeah, a bunny. Yeah, a rabbit. Okay, okay. now here, you hear me? I my voice just changed. I was trying to. I was going to go into my kid alter. Great. 
so uh, so, so, so they're using so the white rabbit is a trigger they use on me yeah okay and what what is it white rabbit oh so it turns me into a child alter yeah and I have mine almost just came out and I just had to bring myself back well it's interesting you mentioned that because I've, I've had some friends in the past or, or I've, I've met people and they use the word white, white rabbit over and over like uh, follow the white rabbit is that what that's that? part of the Alice in Wonder? It's part of the Alice in Wonderland programming. So is that were they trying to trigger me? Yeah, they're keeping you triggered. Your clone has been doing crazy okay. shit. Okay. Well, what what else are my clones doing? When you say crazy shit, well, like um, I, just like pretty much just just everything like. Every interview that you've done, every communication that you've had in the past couple months, anything, it's all been, it's almost as if, you know, you've been, everything that you, you know, you're, you're really loyal to your friends, you're all those things, but your clone doesn't give a crap, and he just turns everything in right on over. Hmm. Mainly to gather information, figure out who they should keep an eye on, who's talking to you, guiding you on Facebook, you know. Um, but that's the clone that's, that was in your place, but then you also have, like, other clones running around the United States kind of doing, like, missions-type work. A lot of, one of them is, like, a player, like, more of, like, a, which is the one that I saw, but, or you said it wasn't a clone clone, so you used a special word for it, but to me, everyone's a clone. Well, it was, like, clone. more like, um, they, they make a batch of embryos. And we all came from the same batch. We sort of like brothers and sisters. All us sort of. You can, I guess you can call us clones, but um, I don't. I wouldn't say a bunch of identical twins. Maybe a little bit different genetically, but uh, very similar. I think. Yeah. So there's one of those, and he's he's used on the on the sex for the sex for the sex kittens. You know, you're used to kind of like that guy's kind of just like. We go suave type thing. Okay. But, well, well, so um, so the one that's been in your place is like huge. Like he's all about like working out and like getting big and and he he has been programmed to think that he's gonna like you know save the world or I don't even know what he thinks. Do do these individuals look like me? Well, yeah, he looks a lot like you, but okay. he doesn't act like you. Okay, uh, and does this in, does this individual have like a, fr a fragment of my soul? Is it totally robotic, plugged into the AI or something like that? Yeah, no, I totally plugged in. I wasn't getting any sort of soul. Okay, We're, uh, well, how many of these clones do I have running around the public sector? I hear six or seven, but that might just be. Okay, that's fine. That's good. Um, wow. Well, um, are you able to get an idea what kind of sexual rituals they, they put me through? Well, first of all, have they done any stuff like that? Oh, yeah. Like, no, we all, most of us were using a ritual, like, around the, I would say, like, the 9th, the 8th, 9th, 10th of September 11th, you know, around, because they, they love 9 11 so much. Um, you and Max were kind of used to, like, initiate it, um, not out of choice, but in the, in the trip chair. Okay. Um, so, so there was some Lu kind it's of... It's an Illuminati ritual. All right, so, we're, so I'm in the trip chair, and it's, I guess it's maybe September 11th, and um, they do some kind of virtual reality program. What, what happens in, the, in this program? Basically, every, you know, there's me and I see, and I see a few of us that are, are well-known, and we're all... Is there, like, pentagrams kind of, nearby or something like that? What? Is it, do you see a pentagram, an altar, like a satanic altar, sacrifice? Yeah, no, it's really sick, actually. Um, Yeah, it's like, a, you know, we have the one of the priestesses, or whatever, she's sitting in the back, and then there's, she's sitting on, like, a throne type of thing, and then there's just a lot of men around her, robes, and 
then we're all not you. I don't see you. I only see the women. Mm -hmm. Um, we're all kind of like chained up to this. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of, it's got like, yeah, it's like a diamond type thing. It's like a diamond. We're all chained up to it and we're all, you know, does it look like a diamond gemstone? No, but it could be. There's, there is a giant gemstone in the back. Like, that's the main kind of, like, background. Okay. Um, I'm thinking it's, like, the Bohemian Grove or something. Like, there's... We're all dressed in, like... We're our kitten altars, and we're all... We think we're cats, and... And, uh... Um... You're... You and the guys are being used to kind of, like... You guys are being forced to force us to do things with each other, and... and and again, this is all like some virtual reality. I'm oh no, this actually happened to a lot of us physically. The one physically happened to us. Okay, and was I there? Because I woke up. I woke up around those days just sore. Okay. Just, just put it. Just to put it lightly. Yeah, yeah, I understand. What well, was I in this this ritual? I don't think so. I think it was okay. just the woman. Okay. But maybe I'm getting confused. Well, you got you were used. Your clones, or, you know, you were in the trip chair. Okay. Your clones were being used to kind of, like... Participate, in a way. Kind of, yeah, participate to kind of, like, assist in, like, shoving things in us or, like, giving us things or... Okay. Just to torture us because we're all... We see you guys as, like, our brothers. And so that's just, so, it's just part of it. Well, what about the people that run the computer terminals that do these experiments? Don't, don't, do they have a soul or consciousness when they're doing this? Do they not? Yeah, but they've given their soul to Lucifer. Okay. So they, they're, all right, well. They think they're God. So, so they're getting off on all this, in a way. Yeah, they, they love it. They, this is, this is like, that's like, the ritual they look forward to, one of them. Okay. Well, are these people connected to the, the people that run the Federal Reserve, or are these just, are these, I don't know, uh, reptilians that live out all their life in underground bases, or what? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of, you know, we got a, I see that woman from the fashion police. I always see her, and there's, so you see, like, uh, people from Hollywood there? Hollywood are there, but then there's also, um, you know, I, I see I see my granddad there. I see I see lots of people there. There's, mm. um, it's just, you know, who, you know, I don't, this is probably only one particular ritual. I'm sure they do a bunch of them. Like, well, around the same time, you know, the different groups are... You know, it's just that we belong to the, this group. Hmm. Okay. Well, the good news is is that this won't be going on for much longer. Karma will always come around. I just wish we could, like, help get them out of there. Get get them out of, out of what? The trip chair? Yeah. Okay. Well, l let's do that. Well, I, I have a bad feeling you're going to be put back in there and, like, I don't know. I think this is just like a timeline. Something, something happened where you mir miraculously came back. But okay, let's talk understand. about that. Somehow, I was in in this facility. Um, was it the same facility Max was in? Yeah. No, you guys have been together for months. Okay. And but, um, uh, but I. How did I manage to escape? Or is that a, is that should that be left confidential? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I think. I think that you, you know, yeah, I mean, you know, you're, you're witty. I'm witty? The problem with you you understand, your altar understands a lot more than most of our altars do. You, you, and you, it's ironic because you can't, as James, you're really bad at getting to your altar. Like, you can't remember it or whatever, but your altar knows James. So my altar knows and, uh, my, about my entire life? Yeah, you know, you guys, like, he understands you, and he, like, you guys work together type thing. Okay, so so every everything that I remember, he, he can take that and use it. Yeah, and, and that, you know, and, and 
you guys help each other out type thing. Okay, well, why, why did they allow the, the memories from me to go into him? Why, why didn't they put a wall up? Or maybe they couldn't. They can't, but they can't. They can only make it so you don't remember your altar. They can't do it with your altar. Same that, goes for me. Okay, so, so your altar remember, knows everything about you. But the difference between all altars and other people's altars that are like the killer altars, our altars actually kind of like us. They're the original. They, they like us? They want to protect, like, our altars know, our altars know of us. That's not, okay. you know, we, and we know of our altars type thing. Mm -hmm. I know a little bit more about my altar than you, because you, you can't, you're horrible at remembering your own things. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know why that is, but. Well, it's probably. Part I'm thinking is the altars don't, they know of each other. They know that if Krista well, dies or James dies, that they die. And okay. that's, well, they work in that interest. Well, d does my altar have a name? Can you ask him what his what his name is if if he has a name? I don't know. I just heard Jake, but I also thought your clone's name was Jake. So. <laughs> okay. Um, does my altar have any ideas on how I can integrate? I think you just need to. Just, he says that if it happened now, that it would be too much. I guess that's what he's saying. Okay, that's fine. But well, he says he's been working on it, and actually you do work with him a lot, and, and that's how you're here now, talking to me. Um, so he's he's actively helping me sabotage what they're doing as well. Oh, yeah. Mine, mine does too, and, and a, few of our, a few other people, I won't mention names, but right. we, we're, we're working together. And as far as escaping, so somehow my my altar, my consciousness escaped from that base and came back here. Uh, and now, now you're saying that they're going to try to put me back? You know, I'm really hoping that, you know, because I'm hoping that, you know, this conversation and, and everything will, will, will alter the, that event from happening. Well, how, how do you think that's going to alter? I mean, even you said yourself, the people... And the Pentagon and the military, they're all brain... Well, not, I guess you can't say they're all brainwashed. I mean, clearly, maybe there's some that are not like that. Maybe there's... Maybe you'll, maybe you'll go somewhere else, you know? Like, maybe maybe be the benevolent ETs. But then again... Oh, there are benevolent ETs. They're all benevolent? No, but there are some, and, and there are some that are trying to help us. Okay. But you're, and what I'm saying is maybe you'll, maybe you can like switch timelines or something. I don't know. Oh, so that's how we do it. We go, we change timelines. Oh, yeah, no, totally. Like, well, let's do that right now. You switch timelines. That's why we're talking to each other right now. Oh, so maybe that's how I got into this one. <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're not supposed to be here. This is by the grace of James and his wittiness. <laughs> Maybe was it my Neo Cube? And it was also the fact that I've been, so a lot of us have been copiously praying for you, like, copiously. Well, uh, last week I did a meditation um, to bring the timelines of Lemuria and Atlantis back overlaying this one. And I brought the, we tapped into the 13th Crystal Skull. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. But let's do a quick meditation right now. And if you, is it okay that I use my Neo Cube? Yeah. Device activate and increase. Device we trust you completely. Integrate our mind, body, and spirit. So go ahead. Imagine the Chi energy coming between your hands. Stargate. We trust you completely. See yourself going down the Stargate. Device activate Stargate mode. Automatic mode. Device manifest timeline editing serum. Device put us into a timeline where both Krista and myself will be set free. Device put us into a timeline where we can both heal and integrate with our altars. Device put us in a timeline where we'll be protected and Max as well. And that Max will be healed and integrated and that no harm will come to him. And that he'll be safe, whatever he... And that if they try to activate his altars, that he will step out of that programming and heal 
and have peace and device allow us to have peace in our lives allow us to have abundance and prosperity and allow us to be set free so we don't have to be dependent on our handlers device bring in integration and healing not only to just us but to those who are listening to this who need to hear it device we bring healing and integration to all those who have an open mind and open heart to this message anything else Krista oh and, and device edit the timeline that we can have um, the golden age, I guess you could say, Volantis and Lemuria come back without all the evilness. What else, Krista? Device, I pray that you keep James here and with us and out of the trip chair. All right, Device. Or you too, and all of us. Device, uh, <laughs> edit the timeline so that uh, they won't be able to put me back in the trip chair. And also, device help my friend Nathan get set free from the trip chair. And that's something, um, Krista, can you get the impression where my friend Nathan is, Nathan Wilder? Um, I, did he have glasses? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I see him. Where is he? Um, I'm picking up East Coast, like New York, something around there. Oh, okay. So he's on planet Earth. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Same thing goes for him. Is there? His, a, his, they have to put him in the trip chair if, if he's on mission. You know. Okay. Well, how come he doesn't remember me anymore and all that? Because he's a clone. Well, where's the original? In the trip chair, being. Okay, that's what I. Okay. <laughs> Where, but where is the original in the trip chair? Is he? Can you get an impression where that where where, where what what facility he's located at? I just I don't know something. I just keep on hearing like East Coast, East Coast, but I don't even know what's going on. Something starts with an M. I don't know if there's any facility on the East Coast that starts with an M, like Magnuson okay. or Magnuson or something like that. Like I don't know. All right. He's not in off planet. He's here. Okay. All right. Well, I was told he was on the moon, but maybe that's changed, or maybe maybe that was bad info. Um, so he might be on the moon, but I don't. Why would he be on the moon? Uh, he's not in the in the trip chair on the moon. He was being held captive. I was told he was being held captive by the reptilians because he broke out of his programming and destroyed some of their facilities. He he t he went yeah. rogue back in two thousand five, and I haven't heard from him since. Yeah, you know. Uh, can you he see? Might be on the moon. Can you see know. what he did back in two thousand five that caused him uh, to be put in the trip chair? Um, he was something about. I think he was, you know, able to kind of go into his altered state as him and he was doing like essentially he was doing like his own missions like stealing stealing like vehicles and like going and like pretending you know going where he knows he needs to go and kind of like messing with people like even though he was him but like he knew how to be his altar type thing so they were sending him off on missions and he he was doing the mission, but then process he was sabotaging, stealing stuff, causing all sorts of problems. Sort of, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah because he was able to fully be his alter while also being himself. Okay, and that's what they're afraid of what happened with us. And I believe that is happening with me. <laughs> is it happening to you? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure well, that's... Well, so, so all this time, um, has, is, has Nathan been kept in the trip chair all this time since then? I mean, he hasn't been in the trip chair the entire time. Okay. Um, there are people that are there that have taken, you know, I mean, not everyone that's in these facilities are bad, you know. A lot of them are being forced to do this. If they don't okay. do it, then, you know, they're going to get tortured themselves. But, you know, there's times where he's able to, like, you know, it's not, like, fun, but he's able to, like, you know, they let him eat every once in a while. Sometimes, you know, he's not always in the trip chair. Okay. 
So he's being he's being barely kept alive. I mean, that's it. That's barely kept alive because you know these people are so cheap. Yeah, he's just being barely. He's being barely. He's being kept alive enough to to torture him, but to also you know. I don't know. I don't even think they're still using him actually. Okay, so maybe maybe his programming broke down so much they so sort of gave up on him. Yeah, but there's definitely like things that are in like, you know, there's things in the making where he they have to keep them alive to kind of, you know, make the new one, make the one that doesn't have, you know, the new generations they don't, they don't have, you know, they don't have to worry about the soul aspect anymore. That's the problem that they have with all of us, is that we have souls and. and okay. So, so they're using him for breeding. Keep- yeah, they just need to keep him like barely alive. And and, and the, uh, barely alive, so they can make make children DNA sam- clones from him. Yeah, and also work on the you know the synthetics and the stuff they already have going. Does he does he remember me still? Can you ask him? Yeah, I mean, I see him. He's kind of like in a coma. In the, in the trip chair? No, I don't even think he's in the trip chair anymore. Is he, like, being kept in, like, some kind of cryostasis? Yeah, he's just being... It's kind of like someone that's a vegetable. Oh. Well, what did he do he's that... He's still wearing his glasses, which is weird. I don't know why. What did he do that, that made him so, so pissed at, at them to put him in a vegetable state? Like, right after I helped him break free. In March 2005, the last message I got was he was in a prison cell and that he was bleeding and that he was holding a, a cord that was like an electrical cord, but it was able to go through the wires into the internet. Probably he tried to kill this handler. Do you mean the ones in the underground base? Yeah, he tried to kill his handler, like one of his handlers. How did he, what did he try to do to him? Kill him how? Suffocate him, but choke him. Okay. I didn't slay his throat. I don't know. He likes knives. I don't know. If that's <laughs> Is there anything that we could do to to help him out? Do you know if Adam likes knives? He's what? Did do you know if the you know Adam likes knives? He knows about that. Yeah. Oh uh, no, I didn't know at. He... Yeah, I don't know if you knew if he liked knives or you're collecting knives or something. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't asked I him. Does, does well, Nate, you so, haven't talked to him since 2005. Uh, I don't. I I don't know why that name just came to me. Okay. Okay. It well, did. does he have any other messages? Is there anything we could do to help him? Find him. Okay. Well, uh, but, but, uh, does he happen to know where he is? Like a name of facility? No, I don't know how to... I'm hearing all sorts of things. First, I saw the East Coast. Then I heard, just heard California near Santa Cruz. And then something brought me to Fort Lewis. So, I am I don't think I'm... Maybe those are all where all his clone bodies are. <laughs> I don't know. I just know that... I don't know how much is, like, consciousness is really there, you know? Yeah, I understand. Well, we could... Do, does he have a message he wished to share with us? I just heard him say, stay strong. Okay. Well, I, I intend I to think do he that. Wants to, I, I think he just wants us to, like, pull the plug. Pull the plug on what? On him. He wants to die? Well, yeah. I mean, I don't think he wants to die, but he's at that point. Mm. Well, tell him to hold on, and we'll try to help him out somehow. So, that's all we can do. Yeah. What a shame. So, I guess, um, as far as us is concerned, maybe we make sure not to be violent when we start integrating. But but the question is, I mean, uh, they, they programmed us to be violent. Yeah, but... He played too many video games. <laughs> um, is is there anything else? Yeah, because now something's pissed off at me. Who's miss? Who's who's pissed? Someone just came into the room and just 
freaking knock me over. Someone's in your room with you right now? No, 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 no. In the base of Adam, I'm, like, looking over at him, kind of. Oh, kind of oh, so somebody else is aware that you were there. Yeah, no, someone just came in and just so they knocked must, me out. They knocked you out? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, they don't like it when I when I try to reach out to contact Nate again. No, but we need to figure out where he is. So where are you now? Where is he? Are you, do you feel you're in like underground? Is there, is there a fort? No, he's he he is here. He was taken off world to the moon, like you said, but they didn't. Whoever's up there, there's different politics per se the people that want to keep him alive you know they're kind of just keeping him barely operating it's kind of like some people want that some people are just like no so he got moved back to the united states he's in the base here he's not the same place where max and james are in the same base but he is somewhere else like okay i mean is it fort lewis mccord is that it or what is what's mccord Fort Lewis McCord? What's McCord? McCord? Yeah. I don't know. Is it Fort Lewis McCord? Maybe they all are in the same place. Fort Worth? Maybe, no. Maybe it's the name of an underground facility. He's, yeah, he's trying to... I got up. I'm going to see if I can tie this, this reptilian up. There's a reptilian yeah. in the base next to you? No, but he's there with me right now. Where he's trying to fight me, and I'm gonna. Oh, oh, okay. So, so the, this entity that came in the room is a reptilian. Yeah. Okay. Because he's wearing like a white coat, so shapeshifter well, type. Well, thing, you know, um, to okay. Well, why don't ma manifest a um a, a a laser and vaporize him? Well, I just like tied him up. I'm <laughs> I have a crowbar, and I'm going. I need information from him. I don't want to. Oh, you want information from this reptilian? Yeah, I want to know where we are. I want oh, okay. Him. Well, um... Uh, well, what's the way, what's the, what ways don't they like to be tortured? Well, um... <laughs> I don't know how to torture reptilian. He's making a lot of close noise, you know, so someone comes and finds him, like... Is he, ma like, making okay. a hissing noise? Yeah, no, he's... Okay, he's well... Hissing and he's sticking well, his tongue out, you know, like... Okay, well, this is what you need to do, um... I want you to use your ability to you have telepathy and uh, turn them into a vegetable. So go ahead and kind of like a dolphin would paralyze their prey. So kind of put them in a coma. And but but don't totally like you know coma type. Just keep this consciousness there so you can still communicate. He's he's done. Just paralyze them. Good. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. Now go into his mind and and go behind all his blocks. And I want you to just read his mind and tell me. Uh, uh, just go ahead and get all the information. What do you, where, what, what's the name of the facility that he's in? Or start wherever you, what, what, what information can you get? I'm hearing, I'm seeing Fort Lewis McCord. That's what I'm hearing. Fort Worth Report? No, Fort Lewis McCord. Fort Lewis McCord. Yeah. Okay. And, um, what else? They're using his soul. They're using his soul? Yes. For what? To keep. They want to... Something with his soul is being used to kind of, like, twin up with other... Like, the fact they... Something with his soul. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Well, what about me? What, what's my connection with Nate? Your counterparts or something. What do you mean a counterpart? Is it that Project Surrogate thing where, like, we're from the same batch of clones? Yeah, like, your soul and his soul have a real, real special bond. Okay. And that was... Sorry, there's something here right now. Um, That was uh, used... Huh. So they used our, our special connection for their own advantage? Whatever that might be. Yeah, they have a soul. They're using his soul for experiments, like genetic experiments, that type of thing. You guys are used, you know, 
unique, we're all part of it, like, yeah, they want to, essentially, they're just, it's the same thing, like, well, first of all, they're pissed off because he was a punk to them, and now they're just using his soul kind of as, like, a, maybe a way to, like, lure us in, you know? To, to lure us in? Yeah, to lure us in, like, to lure you in, especially. Lure, lure me into what? You know, to get you to go into alter state, something like that. So they, so they put, they planted Nathan in my life to trigger me into alters. Something with, they have to use his soul to do something in you. Like every once in a while, you'll be doing something where you'll feel Adam, and it's like you really are feeling him. So it's like, or not Adam? Sorry, Nate. I don't know why I keep on saying Adam. <laughs> it's weird. He keeps. Well, ask Nate. Adam, what? 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 What's? What is this connection? He's in with trouble. Adam? Like Adam's in trouble. Like Adam. He was too. Yeah. No. Like. Yeah. Like he's like your brother or son or something. Like you guys all have a weird. There's. There's. Is he my? Is he? Is he my son? I think he's your son or something. There's. There's something and. Why are they keeping him alive? There's something. Um, like you're... Hmm. I don't know. So, so I guess maybe maybe it's like that thing. He's got a lot of memories, uh, like computer database. They want to keep keep him alive to, to, to keep that data. Or maybe maybe they're using him his consciousness in, in virtual reality now. He's doing all the work in virtual reality. Possibly. Maybe. Is that reptilian giving you any more information? No, he just keeps being like, you're not, you can't be here, you can't be here. Uh, can you ask him if he knows about James Rank? He says, of course I do. <laughs> okay. He said, of, he said, of course I do. He's just like you. I don't know if that's, he's trying to rhyme or something. I don't know. Okay, I what? guess I guess I have quite a reputation. <laughs> he said, "Wait till he gets his his hands on you." Oh, uh, is he mad at me? Yeah, he says he's mad, but you know, because we're, we're we're all mad. We're we're not supposed to figure all this stuff out. Yeah, but I need him to tell me. Uh, can, uh, can you figure out what state? It's well, Fort Lewis is in Tucson, Arizona. Okay, so you think we're, you're below Arizona? You're in Arizona. Yeah, for some reason I feel like they're all there now. All? Who else? Max and James and Adam. There's like a section where we're all kept type thing. You are, know. are these our clone avatar bodies? No, that's Adam's original. Okay. No, I mean our clone avatars are kept in different bases around. So the are different the places. original version but of Castle, me. I mean, Castle is alive. Most of his stuff is in, you know, the UK. Okay, but the original version of of me is there. No, 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 no. Oh, you oh, were off yeah. world. You were supposed to go there. You somehow are not there right now. Okay. You were sent. You were sent to set them. You're supposed to set them free. That's the plan. I mean, that's the next step. To set Nathan free and, and the rest of them? Max and, and, and Nathan, yeah. Okay. Well, how do how, I mean, how do I get to set him free? I, I don't know how to teleport. I, I don't know how to get in a... I don't place. know. How did you rescue me? You know, that's what we had to figure out. Well, well, that was in a, a synthetic body and they... I know, but somehow you did it. But that was like the white, supposedly the white hats or some faction in the military sent me off. I, I can't access altars unless... Well, maybe I can. I don't know. I don't know. I, I really <laughs> feel. I really feel like you came and got me because you and I was part of your unit, and and you and Jamin were. You wanted to. No, that was all you guys. You guys had a plan. Okay. All right. I well, mean, I think you were supposed to get more than just me, but. Okay. Um. Can you ask that reptilian scientist? Um. Um, what they're doing to Nathan? Sucking his soul. Something with a soul. Okay. Um, do you feel that this reptilian has a soul himself? 
he said he used to. Okay. Well, this is an opportunity. Since it doesn't have a soul, what I'd like you to do, um, are you able to see its aura? It's just like all like murky. He smells really bad. That's fine. What I want you to do is I want you to make a, a PSI ball, a psi ball. And um, I want you to put in, imprint the, 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 um, this program that um, he will sabotage what's going on down there and help Nathan get set free and help the other set get set free. And I want you to put that right into the, his, his um, I don't know, p uh, put it all within all the chakras. All right. And just go ahead and reprogram his um, programming with the AI. What if he's connected to the AI? So go ahead and just uh, put all the info in there. So make reprogram him or remotely control him. Let me know when that's done. Okay. His his tail just twitched. <laughs> Is he being more cooperative? He says he wants to work with us now because he's all scared now. He's like okay. he's changing the story. Um, ask this reptilian if we can do the same thing by plugging uh, plugging into the AI and maybe hacking the AI to get it to cooperate. We can hack the whole a whole matrix. Is that something we can do? Yeah. Does he uh, does he recommend that we try doing that right now? He says we can try, but we probably won't have very much luck because. Super soldiers like us protect the AI, and well, the a pretty good. well, the AI probably knows what we're doing right now. Yeah, I know because there's something that's just very angry in my house. You, you feel a presence in your in your room? Oh, there's always something here. I okay. But something's very mad. Well, it's okay. Well, we're your guardian angels are protecting you, so and, and me as well. Um, we'll yeah, just I'm scared. Well, well let, let's hold off on the AI thing for, for another time. But just tell this, um, ask this reptilian um, to, help, to help Nathan uh, somehow escape. And, with his, and also um, ask, ask the reptilian to um, re secretly reprogram Nathan to, have, to get his memories back so he remembers who he is. And to also do it to the others that are being kept in this facility. He says he'll try him, him and his brother. What? What? Nathan's brother or his brother? No, the reptilian has a brother. Oh, okay. Um, can this? Can you ask this reptilian where? What state this this facility is located in? He's he's he's. Wow, well, he's something else. He's like he'll, he'll help if if he can have some uh, American women. He's Joker. Anyways, uh, what state? Yeah. Where's the facility? First I heard California, and then I hear Arizona. I just keep hearing those two. Okay. Um, Is it underneath the Salton Sea? I don't see it being something under the sea. I... Okay. Um, is he able to give us any inf any other information about Nathan that we should that we should know? That's pertinent. It's his job to keep him alive. Okay. Okay. Um, well, tell him to do what he can to keep him alive. And, and he's kind of grown in an attachment to keeping him alive. Um, okay. That there has been talks to, you know, kind of get him out and program him back into his life, that type of thing. But the problem think, with me didn't. He are they going to let me, huh? What did you say? Are they going to let me uh, be friends with him again? Yeah, he says that that's not up to them. Oh, okay. Well, because we have, no, I mean, we, we have more, we have that much control. Hmm. Because we're so attached, you know? All right. When your souls are attached and, and like, kind of bonded to other people, um, you know, it doesn't matter which timeline, it doesn't matter what's going on, you know, we're always going to find each other, that type of thing, and, and uh, that's like your brother, you know, and so 
or okay. not brother, but you know, you guys are very close. You guys will be friends again. And uh, he said that he sends you messages a lot. You know. What to Nathan? Yeah, Nathan sends you messages a lot. Uh, what kind of messages? Just to you know, try to stay positive, and I mean, I think like people have like a unfair expectation that you're going to be able to set them free, you know, because. Yeah, I don't know. Well, an expectation that I'll do what? That you'll get him out of there. Oh, okay. So, who, who, Same who, with Max. There's an expectation there that you're going to okay. get him out of there. <laughs> so they want me to, to go in there. And, Not like, Casbolt. Casbolt doesn't think they... Oh, Casbolt doesn't he, think I can do it? Yeah, he'll get himself out of there. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's Casbolt. He's like that well um i got out of there somehow i guess but i switched i guess my soul switched bodies i have no idea what happened or, or I, I switched timeline so maybe maybe that's how we need to do it <laughs> we have to all right well, let's do that right now i still got my my neo cube in front of us device activate increase device we trust you completely to integrate our mind body and spirit stargate we trust you completely device activate stargate mode Automatic mode device. We ask you to put us on a timeline where Nathan would be able to escape from that facility with all of his memories intact and in full health, or full health eventually. And we ask that uh, we'll all be able to be healed and well, and that uh, these the beams down there will sabotage what's going on. This and this reptilian and the other reptilians down there will help us out. And uh, the AI will be able to be reprogrammed to help us. How's that? We'll put us on a timeline where we can all be set free. Device in session. <laughs> I'm sorry. I accidentally shot a few of them. Oh, what? The negative ones? Yeah, no. I just went out in the hallway and shot a bunch of them. Sorry. What, what did you shoot them with? <laughs> a huge ass gun. Okay. Okay. Well... Um, Maybe I'm just flashing into my altar type thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm now. I'm starting to get a really bad headache. My head yeah. hurt. <laughs> That's good though, because that means we're doing something, right? Is that, is that my altar coming through? <laughs> oh yeah, no. Oh, God. Maybe my altar wants to come out and join you. <laughs> I think that it does. <laughs> but not right now. Um, See, that's the what? That's the laugh I've always been able to make you do. That's funny. What? Oh, laugh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just I just took it upon myself to kill some of those little lizzies down there, but not the one we just talked to. Okay. And what in the world? Can can you figure out what what's causing the beeping on my end? Can you find the my source? Neighbor. Your neighbor. My neighbor. Yeah. Uh, is it something wrong with the phone line? No, he's just a reptilian that spies on me all the time, and he's pissed right now. So, so your your reptilian your neighbor is is this spying on you? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, well, clear. So now he now he knows that we know. Oh, I know, and I've I've told him multiple times. I was Chris that we knew him. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm over here, Cousin Marcus. Okay. Well, the, I guess that that's what they want to do, and spy, I guess. That, that's their, their their choice. But, you know, well, they can spy away. It's not going to change anything. <laughs> well, you and I are still going to get well, and um, Nathan's going to be set free, and uh, all the spying in the world isn't going to change any of that, I guess you could say. <laughs> They're going to take Max out of the trip chair. They're going to take him out of the trip chair? Yeah, they need to. They're going to. Uh, to to help him? No, I'm going to, he's getting out of the trip chair. I'll go there and kill them too. Okay, we'll go, go do that. Is, is this reptil, is the reptilian still helping you? The one that you, I guess you could say, reprogram? Oh, no, no. I, he's, he's only saying that he's going to help because I have him tied up and I <laughs> can kill him. <laughs> well, he, he probably, he probably needs to be, you know what you could do? Why don't you throw him in the trip chair? Let's reprogram them. Put a program into them to help them uh, to do the opposite. <laughs> that might help. 
he says they don't. He's just making it up though. How can they? They don't what? He says that they program differently or they need different equipment. But he's just lying. Well, tell him. Tell I'm going to put him in the trip chair. I'm going to download some information, but then I'm just going to leave him there. Yeah. Know. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, just, that's too bad, you know. Just l l let what happens, happens. That's what they do to us. <laughs> they probably stick us in the reptilian version of their trip chair. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> it's done everything, and they don't care. <laughs> Okay. So. Okay, well, I mean, I think that this base kind of knows, like, what's up. But I think I should probably get out of here as far as, like. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. All right. Because we'll I don't want them to, you know, I don't want them to get to know me as well as they get to know you type thing. Yeah. All right. Well, what I'd like you to do is let's shift your body. And you're there, though. I see you. You're there. What, in the trip chair? No, you're following me. You're with me right now. We're both in our... What, what, what do we're I... In our, we're in our, like, huge synthetic bodies right now. We have guns. We're going to go... We're going to go mess... I mean, we can go messing some things up right now, like... Do you want to do that? Yeah, I want to... But I don't know how to do it. Like, we can go set them free, I think, maybe. Okay, well, let's set them free. Let's go ahead and get that done. Okay. They're really stupid. They keep them all near each other. Okay, um... What, the reptilians? Yeah, like, Max is, like, right next to to Nate. Well, is Max, is he, like, unconscious? Like, in a coma? No, he's still conscious. He's just detoxing. Like, he's been detoxing off drugs this whole time, too, so... And, but, but... A very good time. Is, he, is he, like, sitting on a table, or is he standing up, or... Well... What? What? Sorry, I'm talking to you in altar right now. You have to be quiet. Um. Okay, I'll be quiet. You can just tell me what you he, see. He is. He's not in a trip chair right now. He's just kind of tied up, and he has his handler chip. She's just she's not paying attention right now. So, I think we should just over there and maybe I'll shoot her. I don't know. Well, can you use a stun setting? Or do you think we should just kill her? I don't know. We have to go get him, though. How do we get him without not killing him? We need to tie her up or something, right? Or what's up? Like well, the... just uh, use, a, use your stun weapon or use your telepathy to crash her brain. Can you crash her brain and put her in a coma? Okay, like, I'm going to go in the room right now. Like a dolphin can do? Why don't you just go in there and send out a pulse of energy and crash all their brains except for the people we're trying to rescue? Yeah, I just need something to blow up. That was kind of cool. Okay. She's in there alone right now, actually. This is uh, the perfect time to go get him. Who is? Nate? Like, no. No, 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 no. Max is in the room with this chick, or this reptilian lady. Okay. Alone. And she's unconscious now. Alright, well go ahead and untie them all. Um, pull them out. I'm going to, Well, you're gonna... Okay, I'm tied her up. You said that you know how to... You've done this before, you know how to get them out. Of this okay. chair. This particular situation you in, you... You're really good with your, like, hands and, like, untangling things. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what happens now? You have him in your arms. You're carrying him. I'm going to walk with him in you. He's, he's barely holding on to you, but... Okay, so I have Max with me? Yeah, you have him in your hands like a baby. Okay. And what about he's Nathan? Complete. Something's telling me that we're not going to be able to get him right now. We need to get out. Okay. Well, let's get Max out. All right. So where are we going? There's a hallway. A really long hallway. The issue is that... Okay. Um, you need to pull out something that... 
I don't know if you're able to walk with your gun, or I don't know what you want to use right now in your hand, but you need a weapon, of course. And I have, a, I have my gun, and I'm also going to use my ability to shoot beams out. And anyone that comes in my way, right. I can kind of, like, I think I can, like, use my head or my palm or something to create, like, a kind of like a safe space or something, like like a bubble or something. Okay. So maybe, I'm like, a force that right now. Us. Yeah, like a force field. I'm going to do that right now, but we have to move really, really, really fast, and there's a... Well, can we just teleport? A, maybe open yeah, up a portal. Can we open up a portal in front of us and uh, step through it? Okay. All right. Are we able to get the portal to open up uh, on the other side outside of the base in some safe area? There's just a bunch of desert. <laughs> is, uh, so I guess this is the safe area? I mean, what do we do? Do we just leave Max here in the desert? Or do <laughs> where do we go? <laughs> oh, since when Tyler being in, this would have really helped. So where do we take them? Well, we took them there. We're there now. I didn't wait for that. Oh, crap. Um, I don't know. what. I don't know my abilities. Well, let, let's just... Now, now let's, we're kind of just like... Now we're like outside in the desert. And we okay. Look, well, let's, <laughs> and our, let's teleport okay. him back to L.A., back to his home there, or his apartment, his pad. Let's go teleport. Bring him back. What, what is it? I don't know what how to teleport. I mean, I know, I know. Okay, but, I'll do that, it. I'll do it. I'm opening up a portal, so you just follow me. I'm stepping through the portal. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we're there. We're at his house. Okay, good. And, um, it's just, really gross, and he, he needs to clean it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I spent, Ew, yeah, no, there's like, I spent a week in his, his house, so, um, his, his Ew, apartment. no, there's like, no, there's like, Pizza boxes from like when he first got taken. It's like so bad. Oh my gosh, he's so excited right now. Okay. Well, what about his clone? Is his clone still coming into his house? What happens if Max finds his meets his clone? We need to make sure that I don't know. We need to pray that he gets some energy back soon so that he can kill his clone. Okay. Does he need any other assistance? Let's just say a prayer to that uh, he gets his energy back, and he also yeah. let's do something so that we know that this works. Type thing. I don't know. All right. Let me activate my cube device. Activate and increase device. We trust you completely. Integrate our mind, body, and spirit. Stargate. We trust you completely. Device activate. Stargate mode. Automatic mode. Device. We ask that a, a bubble of protection will be put around Max in his apartment while he goes through healing. We ask that he become invisible to the dark side. We ask that his guardian angels and guides will protect him and assist him in his healing process. And um, that he'll clean his apartment. <laughs> and anything else that help bring him a healing and integration into his life. We, help, we ask that you help him stay sober. Yeah. And device put uh, Max on a timeline where he will... Uh, Kick the habit. Kick the habit and also kill the clone. And, yeah, and take care of the clone issue. Yep. All right. Is, um, so is Max going to be okay now? Yeah, we, we pray that Max in some way finds a way to, I mean, I don't think he's going to contact me out of the blue. That would be, I mean, that would be great. But we least contact you and let you know that um, this worked. Okay. Should we go back and try to rescue Nathan, or do you think it's too late for that? I don't think it's too late. I just think that now, you know, they know that they see that. Let's let's try, but they know that we took Max now, so, I mean. Okay. Well, I didn't. can we teleport back to the exact location in the room, or is it, is it not going to be safe to go back there? Can you see? Is it? Is it? It'd be bad. No, that that reptilian's still. A, is I that rep, is the reptilian on our side now? Is he still in the trip chair? 
No, somehow he, he's not a drip chair. I don't think that ever successfully happened. He's uh, still tied up. Oh, uh, so he's probably not going to help us out. Oh, what, 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 if he's still tied up, then we can get Nathan out. Yeah, no, we should definitely try to get Nathan out. Okay, the problem is, what? No, the problem is, the problem is, is that, you know, he's kind of in like a comatose state, so if we get him out, how are we going to keep him alive? Oh, that that's fine. Well, I, I, I know exactly what we need to do. All right, let, let's teleport back in the, into the base. Okay, well, I'm sorry, I teleported back to the desert. Not you okay, well, let's go to the desert. Now Now let's go open up another portal into the base. All right, so do you see... Do I think you see someone it? else is here with us now. There's a third person. Okay, do we need to go and in, in turn into visible mode? No, 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 no. Someone's... Maybe I'm just imagining it. Someone's there to help. Oh, okay. somebody, somebody joined us. Yeah. What does this person look like? She's Burnett, and she's a certain someone that does work with us. Okay. D does she want to take over from here? I mean, she's not going to take over, but she definitely is like, if you guys are going to do this, I need to be here. Okay. All right. And well, I think that you know, and I know who this is. Okay. Well, I'm I'm gonna ha I'm gonna pick Nathan out out. Um, I'm pulling. Does he have any wires connected to his body or anything attached? Oh no no no. We still need to go into the. Desk. We need to go now. All this. There needs to be a portal. We need to. Go oh oh, we haven't gotten the base. Okay, so let's teleport yeah. in the base. Okay, we're we're running, so keep keep going. We have to go fast. What, running into the base. We're running down the hallway. Oh, okay. And uh, can we find can you find the room? Okay, she she's completely she's used her powers to completely freeze the whole place, basically. So okay. like time has stopped. Yeah, no, something she did. She put oh. out her fist, and and it's white light just went and everything just it was like a lightning or something oh then, okay that was nice of her all right great well that makes the, the job a lot easier all right let's go let's go get nathan okay we're going together all right okay i'm gonna she's gonna stand at the door and, and kind of keep watch she's got her her stuff and we're gonna go in there right now okay Okay, you know how to get him out of here. I All don't. Right. Does he have wires attached to him? No, he's in like a, you know, kind of like the same type of thing. Keep clones in like, like a tube. He's got some wires attached to him. There's like. Is he like in a tube? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, well, um, I'm going to push the button to open up the tube. Okay, it's open. All right. And I'm going to pick him up. Um, is he, I guess he's unconscious. Okay, hold on one second. Hold on one second. I'm going to try to wake him up. Okay, no, that's not working. He's okay, that's fine. Um, well, l let's go back out to the portal to get to get outside the base. It's open still. Okay, we'll step through. She's saying, huh? she's saying, hurry, 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 hurry. You know, you need to pick him up. Oh, okay. I'm, yeah, I, 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 I thought I did. Oh, no, sorry. Okay. All right. So let's run. Let's run down to the portal. Get him out of there. All of us. Okay, we're in the desert now. All right. Now I want you. Uh, all three of us. Yep. Um, does she have any suggestions of where we need to take them? I just heard Alabama. Where? I don't know. Um. Let me ask her. I mean, you're the one that has a better relationship. Well, I did. I had. A, I I know where we're gonna take them, but if she thinks she's got a good place, she always thinks she knows best. Just take him somewhere. Uh, okay. Well, let's try my place first. Let's open up a portal. Um. Do you see the portal opening? Yep. The portal's gonna open up into the Palladian light ships in outer space. Yeah. All right, so we're on there. We're gonna oh, teleport into their sick bay. Do you see anyone there to, to assist us? Yeah, there's two. He says he's not one of us, but we'll take him. Are they gonna help heal him? Yeah, yeah. Um, is there okay? 
Is, is there anything they like to tell us? Or, or They just said that we want you safe too, James. Okay. Um, all right, well, I'll do my best. <laughs> Thank um, you. Um, yeah, no, they're gonna, they're nice, they're both blonde. Okay. Pretty. All right. Um, can you ask how, There's how, like huh? There's a lot of grass, there's a lot of grass and pretty things around us, but it's like we're in their, their ship or whatever, but they have, like, made it, like, major -y. it's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, it looks like, it's like a hologram, a holodeck of planet Earth. Yeah, and I just want to stay here, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, ask them how long uh, they're going to need before I can, Nathan will be well. They said three months. All right. Well, um, I guess, of course, they could always do time travel, but three months is fine. All right. Well, I don't know. He said like three months, three months, but, you know, time, what does time really mean? Yeah. Will I, will I be able to see Nathan soon? Now? He said, you betcha. <laughs> okay. He said, you betcha. Thanks, Krista. I don't know what the rhyming thing is going on today. <laughs> it's probably your altar there. <laughs> I know. Well. Do they, do they, the Palladians want to do some work on us or they, they say, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, they said if we can stay, if we want to for a little bit. All right. Well, um, ask them if they can help uh, help us integrate and heal. Well, my, well, I guess we can heal ourselves. But if um, if they could heal us too, that'd be great. <laughs> Maybe heal us so that we can heal ourselves or whatever, however that works. <laughs> yeah, they put us in this like their version of a chip chair, but it's not for meaning purposes. It's for good purposes. All right. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, no. The other member of our team is just like, let's go. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Well, we can go. All right. Well, um. <laughs> huh? Oh, and I'm just laughing because it's just same old, same old. This must not be any big deal to her. Mm, no, it's a big deal. Oh, to be on a plane. She's been waiting for us. She's been waiting. I mean, I've been waiting too. I mean, we've been. She's been waiting. Been waiting for what? You to be back and for us to sync up and for us to do this. Okay. What is this other woman's name? It's Sarah. Oh. Okay. I mean, I. I think I, I mean, think I'm she's related to Angela Jolie, by the way. I'm looking right at her right now. I don't know. I mean, okay. she'll probably deny it. I mean, she denies, she'll deny it, maybe. I don't know. Maybe she will remember this. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, th tell tell Sarah thank you for her help. Yeah, I mean, we do lots of work together. Okay. Yeah. No, the plan said that, uh, you know, they're working with you right now to heal you. Okay. Can you, you have a Palladian soul? I don't. Can you ask them uh, what, what the name of my biological father is? Charles. Charles? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is he, a, is he a Palladian reptilian halfling? Yeah, he said, yeah, something happened there. Is he, on plan is he uh, still alive on planet Earth? Or maybe he's not on planet Earth. He said he's up there with us. Oh. Okay. Well, that's, I guess that's good to know. It's Charles, you wouldn't think of Charles would be an alien name. I don't know. <laughs> who knows how much of this I'm actually picking up. That's, who yeah, knows? Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. You're, you're doing good. Even if you get the names wrong, you, general idea is fine. I mean, I see what he looks like. He looks just like you. He just has blonder hair. Okay. I think your father is a Pleiadian soul. Okay. What, what about my soul? You have a Pleiadian soul, too. Okay. I mean, you've been genetically modified with other things, but your star family is from the Pleiadian. Okay. Okay. Not mine. What about, where, are you, where are yours from? 
Cyrus B. Hmm. Not, not good places. But that's something happened where, like, I'm a light being. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. They don't have anything against me. All right. Well, are you ready to come back to your body? Mm-hmm. Okay, so come back to your body. Are you back? <laughs> yeah. All right. You did really good. This was uh, quite a quite a long experience, but um, I think it was worth it. Me too. So um, I want to thank you, Krista. Is there any final comments you'd like to add? No, I mean, I just pray that this is all good. Huh? I said I pray that this is all real, you know? Okay. Well, uh, I guess but only I time will tell. Um, That's okay. Yeah. We'll find out soon enough. All right. Well, right. we will. Well, thank you, Krista, and um, I guess uh, we need to do this more often. But um, let's just uh, let this sink in a little bit, and then uh, we'll come back and maybe, in, I don't know, a m month or two, or maybe even sooner if something comes up. Some good news. Yeah, I know. All right. Definitely. Okay. Bye-bye. Glad you're back, James. Bye.